G'day, Daniel Kazinas here. About five months ago, I made this little jet unit out of aluminium and stainless steel, using mostly a lathe and hand tools and a TIG welder. Tried various different motors in it, and it sort of worked, but it was pretty inefficient. Best I got it to go was with a 19 horsepower paramotor engine. But I've got plenty of views on it. Got a bit of YouTube money, so it allowed me to buy a 3D printer. So let's try and use a 3D printer to make a better one, eh? So that's what it looked like in the end. Came out pretty good, except I printed it the wrong direction. So I reprinted this one. I printed the hole smaller. I think a 12 mil is fine. And I made allowance to put two M6 nuts in there. So that will, that'll be what drives it. Now I have to make the shaft. Okay, so that shaft is screwed inside there. This piece is going to stop the impeller from sliding forward. And then I printed this little number right here. This took like six hours for me to draw. Drawed it like so many times. 20 hours to print. Came out pretty good, except for on the back here. Eww, so I got some sort of disease. Maybe it's trying to tell me something in braille. Left a space here for a bearing. So the printer's just making that now, just a plastic one for now, might be able to put a brass one or a bearing later. And I'm just going to weld that on there, but I'll leave a bit of a gap and print a little cone, because in case I want to change the pitch of the propeller later, I can make it a little bit longer if I need to. So as the water gets pushed off this, gets hooked by the flow corrector, straightened out and shot out the back. And I've made a step here, I can tap these and I can put removable nozzles in here to reduce the size down to get optimum performance, yep. So for the outer sleeve I simply just got a piece of PVC pipe. Uh, it's cheap, so like there's a metre of this was like $14 or something like that. And I can just cut as many pieces off as I want. That fits inside there. I tried to give it a mill clearance, but it's still binding up a little bit. I might have to just true this up on a lathe. Also, I made a recess in here. I didn't use support material though, so it's a bit funky. So I'll clean that up, but that'll also hold this rounder. I've got another one on the printer right now, printing for the other side. Cut out this piece of 5mm aluminium. What I need to do is bore a hole on it kind of accurately. I could take it to work, plasma cut a circle, and put it in the forward jaw chuck, bore it out. But something I've always wanted to do is make a fly cutter. So I've got some bolts here. I've got a little piece of tool steel. If I drill a hole through this bolt, weld there like that, so I can screw a nut against it, weld that to there, put it in the drill press. I don't know, let's try it. Cool. So 
So you can tell by the horrendous noise of this thing, it wasn't working very well. I tried different speeds and with cutting fluid and everything, but it didn't seem to make much difference. The problem was everything was vibrating too much, which was causing huge noise and it wasn't cutting properly. I had this other great idea is to drill a hole in the middle and rotate it around, drilling lots of holes perfectly in the right spot. And then I was just and then I just pushed the plate around so the drill cut it out and I thought it was gonna do a nice perfect curve, but it didn't end up working like that. It just snapped the drill and the cut was all jagged. So I ended up using a jigsaw and a grinder. Right, I got this piece here, hot off the printer. That clips over there, and that is gonna bolt all the way through so it's going to locate this piece. I'm printing another piece right now that's going to be the other side of it. But I might start uh, folding up the intake tunnel. I've just drawn a few lines here on this 3mm aluminium for a bit of a reference so I can start folding it up. My last one I made out of 2mm made it a lot easier to shape. But this one here is taking the thrust. The thrust bearing is going to be mounted up here somewhere. And I'm also going to have this a lot lower, so I made it out of three mil. If you guys want to practice your TIG welding, a good way is to start feeding your practice feeding your wire. So I feed it like that. Some other people feed it differently, but just sit there while you're watching my videos and just feed a piece of TIG wire through your hands like that. Practice getting it smooth. So a problem I had last time was drilling a hole in the intake manifold for the shaft to go through, getting it in line. So what I ended up doing is measuring off the edge of the vise to where the centre of the hole will be, and then I measured off the other side of the vise to see where the centre of the hole would be. Then I just moved the carriage up out of the way and put a 16mm hole saw on so I could hole saw it down and hopefully it will be in the right spot. So that hole was actually incredibly in the middle, which is really weird. So next thing is to weld all this part off. I printed a 50mm nozzle and I've stuck that in there. These bolts just thread into it to hold it in place. Made this piece up at work, bored it out of a piece of aluminium pipe. That will hold the thrust bearing. Also I machined down the propeller and I faced off this pipe here. So it's all nice and true. Might need to take a little bit more off the impeller, it's still scraped slightly. So next I need to make this fit on here. I don't know what's going on with me, but I just pushed that on there, just eyeballed that cut, and it fits perfect. I don't know what's going on, this is strange. Everything's just so easy. Welded off this bearing housing here, 3D printed a little cap here to take the thrust. Got some stainless steel cap bolts for here, but I'm stupid, I only ordered uh, four because I can't count. Had to straighten this back out because when I welded it, it bent a bit. Scrapes a little bit, but we'll give it a try, eh? <laughs>
Did you stain it? I made mom say that. Don't worry, I'll tell her. It's fine. All right, it works okay. I've just got the 50 mil nozzle in. It took a while to pick up the water and pressurize it. I had to get it pretty low, but I think a tighter nozzle will change that effect. Also, the drill's not doing as much RPM as the motor's gonna do. If anybody wants to print these parts, I'll leave a link to my Facebook page, DK the Welder. So ask me questions on there, I'll send you the STL files. It doesn't work yet though, so I'd probably wait till I test it first properly. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.